Meanwhile, in Metro, this is where I thought we'd Carl end up. I was within a few hundred yards of Emile's farm when the rumbling of the French air patrols began thundering through the Ugh. sky. Oops, did I skip something there by accident? I thought, no, maybe not. Anyway, let's see, a new diary. Uh, oh, it's, it's for Freddy. At least you've been spared this madness. The whole world has gone crazy. Even my younger brother wants to enlist. I had to talk some sense into him. He has no idea of the hellfire and damnation going on here. It was a glorious victory today with my Canadian comrades. But at what price? Yeah, pretty brutal. Anyway, let's let's boogie, guys. Oh yeah, well, let's not boogie. We got the rural world during the war. Yes, what do you know? People have to work on farms super hard to feed the troops. And, oh yeah, horses were requisitioned. Well, oh yeah, that's kind of like that story I told about my uh, my grandfather. He had to he had to take a horse from the, his house. As I understand it, the, the, they didn't have to take all the horses from the um, from their farmstead. It was just him and one, one of their horses that had to go. But, um, I, I should check with my dad how that story went. Nah, it's too late. We're at the end of the game. Spoilers. There's not a lot of game left. At this point. Um, in fact, we might go a little bit long today just so that we can finish the game. Because there's not going to be much left content for next episode. What does this do? We do have one puzzle to take care of. As soon as I've worked out what the... One of the challenges of this puzzle is just figuring out what's in this haze of chlorine gas. A ration ticket. I thought there was a lottery ticket for a second. Rationing was introduced into occupied zones, especially for bread, as there was not enough food to go around. Rationing enabled the authorities to regulate the distribution and quantity of food available and prevent prices soaring. Cool. We don't want no hyperinflation going on. Oh, jeez. This is like... Is this a barn? A stable? It looked like there was like desks and stuff. So did that lower something? I'm not sure what the noise is that it's making. Huh, I'm not... What do you see, Walt? Ah! Well, well, well! See, that's a nice little visual cue. You're like, what is Walt yelling about? And then you look to the left, and sure enough, there's a window to smash with a bucket. Come on over, Walt. Okay, well... I'm not sure what this switch is doing. Something just went smoosh, so I guess I'll... Go check. Oh, yes, this cart right here. It, it lowers and moves this cart. Okay, Walt. No, no. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, no, we can't go up, but that did help ventilate the room, so that's something. Okay, now I need to get Walt over here somehow. Hmm. <laughs> okay, bah, down you go, Walt. Let's lower this thing. Wait, did it just go back up? It did just go back up. Ugh. I need to think about this now. I don't think I need to hold it down. I think it's enough to leave it in that position. Okay, now I climb up here. Hmm. What is the trick to this part now? I love that Walt is just hanging out in that uh, 
basket there. <laughs> Little basket popper. Um, oh, wait a second. Can I... Oh, now I, no, now I remember what I have to do. Okay. Damn. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It's uh, coming back to me. No, no. Helpful pigeon. I don't need your help. I mean, I do appreciate the offer. Don't, don't get me wrong, but... Okay, what we need to do is... Get Walt over that switch, then we run underneath before that cart crushes us. Oh, actually, no, we don't, we don't need to go up there. Because now from here, we can push this thing. There's those handles, even though... He does not use those handles, but whatevs. And there we go. That's how we get Walt across. See, if there was... Again, I was overthinking things, but now we solved it. So everything's good. And the question is, what do we do with this can? Well, I got one idea. I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll give it a go. It hits that shell. Okay. Yeah. Boy, shells pl blow up easily in this game sometimes. I don't think throwing a tin can would necessarily make them blow up like that. What the? What's going on? Hello? Oh, dear. No. No, 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 no. That's... That's very bad. Okay, I... So, I don't know if there's a timer on this. I don't think so. I certainly don't want to find out, let me tell you. I need to get, just bust some more windows so I can see what the hell is going on. This is... Like, I kind of appreciate it, but also this is super annoying that... Uh, you have to deal with the gas in this game. Ah, basket. Come here. Come heat. That's, that's Swedish, that's not German. Come here, is German. And in French it would be come, 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 something. I don't actually know what it is in French. I don't, I don't know anymore. Get in that basket. Oh no, the music stopped. That's bad. I think. Yay, Walt's up. Walt is here. Wait, what? No, that's not supposed to happen. Get in there, Walt. Come on, Walt. What? I I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, maybe I need to send him to the other side. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else on the other side, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure right now. He, he didn't get on this side, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, there is something. There is something up there. How do I bust that window up there? I need to get that window busted to ventilate it, but there's, is that can still around? No, it's not. Ah, sacre bleu! No, wait, wait, no, 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 okay, okay, I got it. I, wait, I already have it, Rick. Never mind, I'm dumb. I, I am dumb. I'm really off my game today. There we go. Room is ventilated. Okay, Walt, go and get that uh, dingle dangle there for me, please. Oh, uh, and an oil lamp. Electricity was not widely available, but candlelight and oil lamps were. The glass windshield was lifted to light the wick, and the intensity of light was adjusted by adjusting the wick's length. Cool. Okay, now you get to that side, Walt, and uh, we are going to have you guess pull the switch. Not much else to do at the moment. Aha! In the pathway. And a couple of chicken eggs? No, they're coffee beans. Okay, I was going to say, those look a bit rotten, those chicken eggs. <laughs> Coffee was sold as beans, and neither ground nor roasted. And generally, grocers would prepare the brew for their customers. Coffee was also home ground in Peugeot coffee mills. 
cool. Not, no, not a good moment for a cup of joe, though. Um, okay, what did lifting that help? Like, honestly. Like, I guess now Walt can run over on this side. Yeah, but how do I get up there? That's the, that's the tricky problem. Pull that switch again? Oh, oh! Oh, God, I am slow today. Ah, jeez. Okay. And our path is assured. Why am I having Walt pull that when I could do it myself? Oh, well. Now we can freaking boogie on and save, save, uh, save uh, Carl's family, I think. Hope, hopefully, hopefully that's the end of that, because, uh, that's a lot of gas they're taking in. Well, no, can't go down there. I'm a little worried for my filter at the moment. What? Oh, another? Oh, now what? What am I supposed to do here? There's nothing to do here. Oh, okay, well that's, yeah, I guess that's an option. Oh god, it's a, it's a little uh, getting a little hot in here. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't think it's just me. Oh god, now it's just uh, now it's just Victor. Oh, uh, oh. I mean, this is one way to travel, I guess. Marie! No, Marie. <laughs> oh no, I'm not supposed to skip this. Shit. Okay. In fact, like, Marie. this is bad. I need to hurry. I need to hurry because uh, uh, air isn't exactly great in here. Oh god! Oh god! Come on! Come on! Come on! A little bit, a little bit more. Hold your breath, damn it! Uh, no, yeah, no, this is really bad. Don't ex. Yeah, this is really bad to like uh, stretch, uh, stretch yourself out like that by beating up. Oh, shit! No! No! Don't look at the light, Carl. Yeah, so close. Unless that was the light of death, in which case, not good. April sixteenth, nineteen seventeen. Emil was still sick, but the general needed every soldier who could stand to launch his big offensive. Ooh, the Once big again, offensive. It was to be the battle that would bring an end to the war. There, he's got the scar on him again. See, I think this is the guy. Except, I think the scar's on the different side now? Maybe they're just twins. Anyway. Well. Can't find out how the situation with Carl went, because now we gotta go back to... Emil in this final push in... What was this place called? What's well, Chemin de Dame. Alright. General Nivelle was the genius behind this one. Nive? Uh. Right, Germans had stuck there for two years. And in days, 200,000 men were lost. Ugh. The failure of the offensive became a symbol of the violence of trench warfare. Oh yeah, that's a picture of actual dead people, I just realized. Oh god, that's pretty grim. Espionage. Yes, indeed. Balloons, zeppelins, and aircrafts were done, used to spy on people, and behind the lines, spies, sp spies were hunted down. Spioner! Okie dokie. There's treasures to be found even in this hellscape. Is there diary entries to be found? Mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah, Carl's not in any state to be writing no diary entries, let me tell you. It's a sapper. He's got explosives on him. Cool. The other guy was a bugler. I don't remember what the first guy was. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. To the sweetest girl I know. 
Goodbye, Piccadilly. Farewell, Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right here. I've never actually heard the song itself properly played, so that was a little bit off, and it probably was a way, way off. There you go, that's why. Okay, General, if that is who you are, here's your four men. Oh my god, that guy, those guys on those stretchers. Oh my god, there's so many, oh dear. I'm surprised there's people left to carry those stretchers. Look at that, poppy flowers already there. Growing in the fields, I think that's what those are, those must be poppy flowers. The most important symbol of the war in Great Britain. For uh, my non-British viewers, very serious business. Oh god! Shut up, dude! Give us a minute! Yeah, yeah, uh, the poppy flower is like the British symbol for World War One, and most famously a game called Cannon Fodder for the Amiga had the poppy flower in the main menu, and it got like... Oh god, it got like reamed in British newspapers. Ban this filthy game! This monstrous game! And the interesting thing is that, um... Cannon Fodder is one of those games that's like, it's like really early too, because it's from the Amiga, but it's like a game that's very anti-war, because it paints the effort, kind of like, kind of like what we're doing right now. It paints the war in a very dark light, so it's very anti-war, but it's got kind of like a, kind of like this game, it's got kind of like a dark humor to it, and it's got a bit of an ironic bent to it, so like it's, it kind of comes off as like, Ironic, it's ironically kind of glorifying war with some of its themes, but it's really, really, it's really a, a big, um, a, a, a big um, dismissal of war, a, a big critique against war and warfare. But, but a lot of people missed that back in the day because video games were not mainstream as they are now, so it's not like people bothered, the, the mainstream media did not bother to really investigate the game that much. I don't think anyone would really, I don't know if someone would investigate it that much these days either, like, if mainstream media would really bother to check if a game was really pro or anti-war. But that's, yeah, you can, that, that, that's the short of it, is basically, that, that, that game got really reamed in British uh, tabloids back in the day. I love that game, by the way, it is really good. Um, one of those childhood memories. I should probably try to play cannon fodder someday, just for the heck of it, if I could get it to work. Anyway, a letter from a Russian officer, Kraun, in April 18th, 1917. Why was there a Russian guy in Kraun? What? How? Oh well. My dear wife, Elena Konstantinovna. I am alive and well by the grace of God. We are still fighting, but this is nothing like I imagined. The mud is everywhere, and the battles are draining. My men are exhausted, and I'm having trouble to get them to fight. They have heard about what's happening, and they want to go back home. How are you? Are you safe? Your loving husband, Nikolai Alexeyevich. April 18th, 1917. What's going on at home? The uh, October Revolution has not happened yet. No. Or November, depending on which calendar you use. It's like, because it's at the end of 1917. Um, I guess there was just rioting going on in the spring of 1917. I don't remember what the situation was exactly in Russia at that point. Uh, yeah, give me a second, guys. Okay, now let's go. Run, 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 run. Oh, crap. Oh, good. I was about to say, wish Freddy was here. It's a sapper. Get that thing. No! Our engineer! Um... Oh my god, and he's still like... He's still like... Kind of conscious. Oh! No, I need to pull him back. Okay. Don't worry, dude. Just just close your eyes and rest for a second, okay? You, you, you'll be okay in a, in a while. Go, 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 go! Oh my god. There are piles of dead over there. I don't remember how... Yeah, now I'm not thinking about it. Did the, um... 
Did they first, like, sue for peace with the Germans, Russia, the Russian Empire, and then the Bolsheviks did their revolution? No, because Lenin was, like, um, negotiating for peace with uh, Germany, I'm pretty sure. So I, I don't... the exact events, I don't remember how they went. Oh god! It's gonna break down! Get behind cover! Dude, you are a really close bugler to the fire. Just, just saying, man. Oh man, what is, where is the sense in this anymore? This is like, this game has been pretty anti-war thus far. This one is just hammering at this level, you know? This is so grim, this final attack. This final sequence of the game. Spoilers. Fi final war sequence. It's like, ugh. Anyway, this Russian identification tag. Why were there Russians here? What? The Russian dog tag was hexagonal and supplied to soldiers by their host battalion. Russians on the Western Front were issued a wooden cartridge for storing personal identification papers, but the cartridge was generally used to keep matches dry. Fair enough. I guess Russians just were dispatched to the Western Front as well? I guess that just did happen. I didn't know about it though. Oh. Ow. Kidoki, I'm not sure what to do with this part. Okay, let's try again. So the lads are like, oh no, never mind. Okay, just gonna... Okay, there we go. Just made it through that fire. Mon dieu! That's... That is a lot of German guns trained on this position. Go, go, go! Go! Run! Uh, okay, we cannot dig here. Emil Sixth Sense is warning him that there are shells right there. So let's instead go straight on down. See, this is... This I remember from this final bit is avoiding all these shells. So that's why I was surprised when we had the shell avoiding thing earlier in the game. You go back to that episode where we're first digging past these uh, shells. I remember only this final segment where we have to do this very difficult... Like... Labyrinthine... Dig through. Dude, come on! You'll live, man. You'll live! Maybe. I, I hope so. Um, dude, he's getting up to go as well. Oh my god! Oh no, I needed to stop there. Oh no, we have to literally use. Let's try again. We had to use the pile of corpses as cover. This is beyond messed up. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm actually feeling kind of queasy right now. And I've played this once before, but I'm still like, this is making me uncomfortable, this level. <laughs> run. Don't run. Help. Oh no. My lads. Wait, don't worry. I won't leave you. No one is dying tonight anymore. We're all going home together. We owe it to that engineer guy. A soldier's ring. An aluminium ring handmade by a soldier. Soldiers often made rings out of recycled metal to send back home to their sweethearts. Great. That's really what I need to think about right now. Also, I missed that little fork thing, unfortunately. Oh! Alright! Alright, Mr. Sapper! No, Mr. Sapper! Yeah, I'm working on it, dude. I'm working on it. All right, Mr. Sapper. This one's for you! Vive la France! And so forth. Oh, who am I kidding? There's nothing to nothing to celebrate in this hellhole we're in right now. Uh, uh. 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 Oh my god. Not a lot of places to hide anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Run, 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 run! Okay. Okay. What are we trying to even achieve here at this point? What... What are what are we going to do... Accomplish with this... What we're doing right now? Oh god. Um, oh no, we need to go down. 
we need to dig down. Wait, why am I not able to dig up? What the? That was weird. I don't know why I can't dig up all of a sudden. Okay, now we can dig up. I don't know what the problem was there a minute ago. But this is like, oh god. This this is what I was thinking of actually, you know, this the stress right here cuz the ground is being blown up right above us if you noticed. Oh jeez, I thought that shell would go off. Oh, okay. Okay. We're well, no, we're not good. I'm not gonna say that. We are nowhere near good, but uh, we are way too out in the open. I do not like this. What? There are human skulls back there. What the hell? What is going on? Why are this? Why are those skulls there? I'm tired. <laughs> cart full of corpses. Of, of course, it's a cart full of corpses. Okay, you got the car. Okay. No! Don't worry, I, 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 oh no, no, I, I don't got you, shit. All right, Bugler, just you and me. Oh man. It's almost as if these people who seem to be really like distinct compared to some of the soldiers we met thus far, we are losing them one by one to drive home the horror of this segment. Oh God. Gotta put the brakes on, okay. And go! Ooh, that was a tight parking spot. Ooh. As we are forced to see our comrades die one by one by this 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 nonsense. This Oh, okay. Huh. Think I'm okay? <laughs> I'm not okay. Bugler! You're still alive! I'm still alive too. Emil's still alive. Okay. No treasures here. Hell no. I think we missed the last treasure. No! Don't go there! Don't do it! You need to stop. Oops. The Nivelle Offensive was a bloodbath, a butchery. Soon, mutiny spread throughout the French infantry divisions, and the offensive was abandoned. No, oh, never mind, he's a... Emil no, no, he's not. With the other rebels, waiting. So the only guy that Emil directly kills in the game by his own hands is his own and general. His and most loyal friend shared the same day to day as the soldiers. Whether carrying messages, saving the wounded, or sweeping for mines, they never failed to fulfill their duty. Oh my god, Walt, you are the best! Dude, look at that distance that Walt traveled to fetch Anna. Freaking hero dog right here. Best character in the game. Let's go! So we've had like final driving segment, final war segment. Now we get the final medic segment with Anna. You knew it was coming, there had to be one like this. And this one, I do not want to screw up. Oh god. For god's sake, see? I, 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 they were messing with you, he's not dead yet, but he's close to, so... You do not want to mess this up. That, I mean, they scare you for a second there, the way it blacks out, but... For the minute, Carl is still in- No! Some state of... Some state of- No! No, is it, this is my fault? 
No more driving segments. We're just just book it to the hospital, l'hôpital. Don't, don't, don't worry, Victor. That's gonna be a o k. Now, live, damn you! Oh shit! Oh. This is unpleasant. Jeez, where did he get hit by a bullet? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is what? He's not. He's not okay. Oh god! Wait, what is this? I forgot about this whole thing. What? What's going on? I, what am I supposed to do? I need to find. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! I don't remember this at all. What am I supposed to do? Shit! I'm supposed to find the med first aid kit. Oh god! I've I remember. The oh no! This way. There's nothing here. Oh wait, over here. This way. Okay. Um. God damn it! Where? Now I'm back here. For the love of. Great, a treasure. I don't know what that is. Okay, I'll try this way. I don't think I've been here. Down? Okay, downstairs. The cellar! Nothing. What the? What is this? A bedpan. No! Oh my god! There we go! Screw your treasures! There's no time! Oh, can I go this way? Oh, I can't! Dead end! Oh my god, what am I doing? It's about to die! Oh god! No, 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 no! Is it the next room over? No, oh, come on! Oh jeez! What's going on? Did I... No! You... you will... Not... Die! Oh, jeez. Come on! Just give him the shot of adrenaline already! Come on, he needs it! Oh, okay. We're not gonna do the adrenaline thing. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I thought I mistimed that. There we go! Okay! Come on! You live, damn it! Your, your wife and child are here! They need you! Don't do this to us! We all need you! No! What am I doing? Well, he might not walk ever again, but, um... Not without assistance, but... If only I can get him to live! Here we go! Oh, okay. Okay, I think I can unclench now. One look from the sun was enough for Carl to forget three years of war and exile. Oh, thank God. After weeks without news of Emile, Marie finally received a letter from her father. So, here we come to the end of the game. Normally, when the credits would be running, I would uh, give you my review, a long one. I can't do that this time with this one, so I'm just giving a short review right here before, because I have to, I have to give this moment in the game its space. So, military justice, yep, 
2,500 death penalties were meted out to punish disobedience and desertion. No items to be found here. A lot of diaries to read. What have I done? Why all the bloodshed? Why all the killing? This war is senseless. My friend Emil was arrested today. What on earth did he do? What got into him? I hope he wasn't among the mutineers they are talking about. I'll go see him tomorrow. We made it. Karl, Marie and Victor are reunited at last. It was so beautiful to see them together. To the image of them will give me courage to return to the front and tend to the wounded. There is still so much to do. They are here for with me at last, sweet Marie and my little Victor. I don't ask for anything else from life. At last we are together again. I have dreamed of this moment for so long. Is it for real? I wish time could stand still. Anyway, yeah, my review time, because I have to give the finale of the game the space it needs. The game is really good. I recommend it heartily. The story is absolutely fantastic. I think with the pacing, that could take a little bit of work between this whole plot with Carl, with Anna, with with Von Dorf, and then with just like the docudrama style, like you could maybe, I don't know, like you've heard my complaints throughout, like you could maybe fix that up a little bit, but overall it's an amazingly good story and um, gameplay is really fun it might be a little bit too easy for guys who want like a really challenging adventure game but for me this was the perfect like level of difficulty so i was really happy with this it's it was a happy vehicle to play through the art style is amazing i've talked about the whole like eyes and like innocence and like the the cartoon style it's it's beautiful to look at this game is a really stellar piece of art so that's why i recommend it to everybody um but anyway uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is it. This is the end. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you, I hope you appreciated what this story had to tell about history, about things that really happened, and um, I hope you appreciate what comes next. Yeah. It's time, eh? Okay. Well, here we go. us on earth. I hope we'll meet again in heaven. Keep me in your prayers. Your loving Baba. Always.
even though their bodies have long since returned to dust, their sacrifice still lives on. We must strive to cherish their memory and never forget. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I hope you guys all stay safe. And I hope you guys all have a happy and safe life. And I hope you all have someone to love and someone who loves you as well. I'll keep you guys close to my heart, you and everyone else. Here's to peace. Hungry for more, the war was not yet over. Its appetite 